Hey everyone, Scott here to discuss Million Dollar Arms, starring John Hamm, Asaph Mandavi, Alan Arkin, Shiraz Sharma, Peter Bash, Madhur Mattel, Darshan Jarawala, forgive me if I said that wrong, Lake Bell, and Bill Paxton, directed by Craig Gillespie. Now, I have seen this movie before, but I haven't seen it since theaters, so I'm coming into this with fresh eyes, so let's see how it goes. A sports agent named JB, played by John Hamm, practices hiring a basketball player named Popo with his partner Ash, and he comes in early, and after the meeting, Popo asks for $1,000 cash up front, which is something an agency can't do in general, and Popo decides to decline while JB is upset, and he can't pay his rent, and he, with his partner Ash, played by Asif Mandavi, Go to a basketball game and tr and they need to be and they need a big break and decide to go through basketball baseball hiring and this opening is adequate and these characters are just fine at best. We meet his neighbor Brenda, played by and by his I'm talking about JB's neighbor named Brenda, um, played by Lake Bell, who's stunning to be a doctor while Ash is drunk and takes a taxi cab home. And he thinks about quitting JB, and what gives JB an idea is watching a game of cricket, which is an Indian game that's like baseball, as well as a woman singing a song from Les Miserables. And goes back and forth, and he thinks of brilliance, and they meet with Chang, who's a baseball manager, and JB asks for two years while Chang asks for one year, which is a risky thing to do, and I don't know if I can buy that, because it cannot be done. They meet with Tom House, played by Bill Paxton, to ask for a Native, a Native American to pitch baseball, while Brenda has a washing machine that's broken and asks JB for laundry things, and he gives her the keys as he leaves for India, and I do like the cinematography of India. It looks beautiful. JB meets with Vivek, played by Darshan Jarawala, forgive me if I said that wrong, to get the uniforms, which are not ready, as they have no choice but to pay them more money than they already have paid. And nobody can help them, which is a hard, unexpected, last-minute thing, which always loses me from the get-go. JB eventually gets the uniforms, and Ash gets Ray, played by Alan Arkin, while he gets stalked by Amit, played by Peter Bash, and JB hires him, after he says something successful and they make a contest for who wants to play baseball for one million dollars. And Ray gets there tired and he wants to hear someone throw a baseball or go to a hotel. And Alan Arkin always entertains me to death and I do miss him to this day since he passed away. May he rest in peace. GB, Amit, Vivek, and Ray go get to the baseball field and the contest begins. And Ray keeps his eyes closed so he can hear the throw of a ball, baseball. And the speed of it, which was entertaining me right off the bat, JB gets a Skype call from Brenda after he doesn't feel well. And the contest continues, and they're having the worst luck thus far. And I'm having a fine time, fine time with this movie. The contest is a disaster until Ray hears someone throw an 83 mile per hour baseball and they find two people who can throw over 80 miles an hour while GB is Skyping Brenda and she sees a, ver a view of India as it looks beautiful. Dinesh, played by Madhur Mittal, and Riku, played by Suraj Sharma, get introduced to each other while one practices and they get to the contest and the candidates throw a ball some 70 miles per hour and a few of 80 miles per hour. And this story is inspiring, despite it's not original, but I don't mind it. One candidate throws up to 85, and he joins the team, as well as another one whom I'm guessing is Dinesh and Rinku, as their, their throws were quite impressive, and director Craig Gillespie does a good job at telling an inspiring story, but unoriginal. Dinesh's father doesn't seem too impressed with his son going to America to play baseball, while JB is going to help him out, as well as Rinku, and others, and I like how nice this movie can be at times. Dinesh and Rinku leave the village of India, and the parents are worried about their children, sure, 
as they get back to America in Los Angeles. While Ash doesn't know they don't like cricket, as does JB, and they drop them off in a hotel along with a mitt, spying on them in case if they have any problems, and JB gets back to the house and talks with Brenda and meets Mark, and these fish shot of water scenes are not the greatest in the movie, in my opinion, but they're in a new country, so it makes sense. The hotel wants Dinesh, Rinku, and Amit out of the hotel, and they get to JB's house, and they stay with him and spy on Brenda, and JB overslept and gets them prepared for baseball, and this stuff is not that great, in my opinion. Dinesh, Rinku, and Amit go to the baseball field and practice with Tom House and his assistant, Doug, and they wear gloves while they throw the ball back and forth and throw a pitch, and they're pretty bad at it, but they'll improve by it. But the nighttime comes, and JB orders pizza from Papa John's, and these scenes are pretty stupid and bad, in my opinion. The building gets cleared out of on Popo, and calls and says he's not happy with his management team and meets with JB while he shows to the baseball field late because he had a meeting and where I have I heard this before is beyond me. Dinesh calls his family and as he's done he goes to Popo's house for a party while JB talks some business with Popo while Amit accidentally pushes some woman in the fountain and they swim while they drank and ate too much, and Popo talks with his management team and signs back up with him, and JB is upset and talks with Brenda, and this movie is a little too long at two hours and four minutes. As I felt the, the length, despite I'm not having a bad time with the movie at this point, Brenda tells JB to care for Emmett, Dinesh, and Rinku, and he's improving his skills with them, while they've been working hard, and the montage worked for me, Brenda kisses JB after she was said before India she wasn't interested in her, and I meant Dinesh and Rinku asked JB to marry Brenda, which is a little too much, and should be in the editing room floor. Chang visits JB and Ash as he asks to honor their agreement in three weeks while Tom House doesn't approve, and one of the boys gets bandaged in the thumb while JB is under pressure while he's being a jerk to Brenda about it. And that could be one of the scenes that could be in the editing room floor. They get to the final tryout and throw the baseball in a strip mall. And Chang is impressed while Tom House is shocked with while the publicity is not buying it. And JB talks with Brenda as Amit, Dinesh, and Riku think they failed. And JB asks Chang for a second tryout, and Chang won't support it, and they call for help. And most of them said no, while JB is greeted by Ray as they go to a Chinese restaurant and bump into a former baseball player named George Shapiro, who played for the Pittsburgh Pirates. Pittsburgh, excuse me, Pittsburgh Pirates. And JB gets home and sees them meet Dianesh and Rinku and his backyard pretending to be in India with Brenda. And they somehow go on a date like in India. And it's a cute scene until GB gets a call from Ash saying they got a second tryout and they eat together, which is quite a miracle, but a little too convenient for my taste. Tom House and Ray and Ash arrive at the second tryout, as well as Brenda, Chang, and Amit, coaches Dash and Rinku to just have fun while he gives them a pep talk and they throw the ball 93 miles per hour with their million dollar arms and they get chosen for the Pittsburgh Pirates and inspired by Native American children around the world. And I like the climax as it had a heart at the end of the day. Now it's time for my rating. I'll give this movie a 6.0 out of 10. I was entertained by the movie despite the story as an original, not by a long shot. But it is an inspiring story as India looks beautifully shot. And I like the shots in those scenes looks because it looks beautiful. The characters are adequate at best, which I was okay with. And director Craig Gillespie does a good job at telling an inspiring but yet unoriginal story. As this is a nice movie to watch at the end of the day. The fish out of water is not a, as good in this movie as I've seen it. And where have I seen that before is beyond me. And this is a mild recommendation as this is a good sports movie. But in my opinion, not great. So I'd like to thank you guys for joining me, and next time I will be back with 
the finest hours, and until then, I can't do it.